How is it going everybody Mr Android here well if you're a new Samsung user who just got his first Galaxy phone or an existing user who really wants to customize his home screen and get a refreshing look without installing any third party launcher then this video is perfect for you today i'll be showing you how to get this beautiful setup on your Samsung phone using the One UI launcher guys if you want to get this exact look on your device then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Now it's time to talk about today's video sponsor App My Site. It's a brilliant website that helps you to convert your website into a fully functional mobile app within minutes and it doesn't require any coding to do so. All you need to do is just head over to the first link that I have provided in the description and it will take you to this page where you need to create your account and once that is done Just connect your website and start customizing every single thing as per your preference. It even lets you to change the entire layout of how your app looks. Once you are done, if you want a preview of your application and see how it actually looks before you publish it either on the App Store or on the Play Store, you can test the entire application directly onto your phone. After that, just select a plan and publish your app right away. Trust me, it's one of the simplest way of creating an app for your business without spending a lot of your time. App My Site provides you with all the right tools to create your own app incredibly fast without any hassle. Be sure to check out this amazing website. You will find a direct link in the description below. All right guys, first let's talk about the wallpaper. It's a simple black wallpaper which I'm using on this setup and it looks really really good especially on an AMOLED screen. I got this wallpaper from an app called Backdrops which I'm sure a lot of you must have already heard about. It's a great app where you can find some amazing collection of wallpapers for your home screen and it is completely free to download. Once installed, simply open the app, click on this search icon and search matte black. You will get the exact wallpaper which I am currently using on my phone. You can either save it or set it directly onto your home screen. The next thing you need to do is you need to change the icon pack and the pack that I'm using right now is called chic icon pack. These are just a colorful set of tiny icons and I really like how vibrant these icons look. It has close to 5000 gorgeous looking icons so it can easily cover almost all the applications you have installed on your phone. And just make sure you combine it with a dark wallpaper like this, it makes the icon pop on your home screen. The only downside about this pack is it is paid, but thanks to the developer I do have 30 promo codes to give away. To win one, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and comment on this video, and send me a DM on Instagram asking for the promo code. It's a first come first serve basis. Now, in order to apply any icon pack on your Samsung phone, you will need the GoodLock application, which a lot of you must have already installed. But in case if you're new to Samsung and you really don't have any idea about GoodLock, then it's a free app made by Samsung and it helps you to customize your Galaxy device like a pro. So just head over to the Galaxy store and download this amazing app right now. Once done, simply open and here you'll see a lot of different modules, but we're going to need only two modules to customize our home screens. One is the theme park and the other one is called home up. Once installed, first you need to open theme park, select icons, tap on create new, and now select this option that says icon pack. Here you will see a list of all the icon packs which you have downloaded from the Play Store. You need to select chic icon pack for this setup and then tap on save. It's going to take some time to save the theme that you have just created. Finally click on apply. That's it. Now if you go back, you'll have these beautiful looking icons on your home screen as well as the app drawer and this definitely looks much better than the boring stock icons. When you look at my home screen, you'll notice few things. I was able to reduce the size of the app icons and remove the app labels as well. Now to do this on your phone, again go to good lock and this time you need to install the home up module once that is done just go inside home up select home screen and change the home screen grid size to 5 by 7 if you scroll down you also get this option to remove the app labels so if you really want to hide the app names that appears on your home screen then you can surely enable this feature finally we have the date and month widget that i have applied on my home screen and it goes really well with the entire setup This one is from a pack called Coda for Custom which is totally free on the Play Store but you still need to install the KWGT Pro version in order to set any widgets onto your home screen so just make sure you install the KWGT along with the Pro key from the links that I have provided in the description below once done simply long press on the home screen select widgets and then click on KWGT 
Here you will see a list of all the packs that you have downloaded from the Play Store. You need to select Coda for custom and the widget that I'm using on this setup is the widget number 46. You can also increase or decrease the size as per your need. So that's pretty much it for this video. This is how you can customize your Samsung home screen with the help of One UI Launcher. Just follow the steps that I have mentioned in this video and you are good to go. If you still face any issue, then let me know in the comments section, I will definitely help you out. And if you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.